I mean, I read Sex of Dawn a while ago, and and it seemed relatively uncontroversial to me. But there seems to be a whole lot of controversy behind some of the ideas that you've put forth in that book. Why exactly do people feel so? Um, is it is it that people feel that their belief structures are being challenged, or or, or why? Yeah, I, I can't really comment on motivation, right? <clears throat> but I think there there are different sources of disagreement, I think. And it's interesting because very little of the disagreement is factual. It's sort of an overall, oh, that book's bullshit. There's a lot of cherry picking. It's, you know, it's been debunked. I read that all the time. It's been debunked. <laughs> like, who the hell debunked it? And, right. and how did it get bunked in the first place? You know? <laughs> uh, but I, I think largely people disagree with the general notion that women are sexual beings. I think mm. that's a big part of it. Nobody seems to have a problem with the argument that men are highly sexual beings that are attracted to variety and novelty and sexual partners. I think that's so obvious that right. it's kind of hard to even conceive of a disagreement with that. But where we applied that to women as well and actually said women may be even more uh, sexual beings than, than men in some ways, you know, with the multiple orgasms and the fact that, you know, a woman could conceivably have sex with five men in one session, whereas a guy... You know, guy has sex, he has an orgasm, and it's like, what's on TV? You know, it's <laughs> kind of finished. <clears throat> so I think that's what people find offensive. Mm. It, it, Not everyone, by the way. A lot of people, thank God, find it liberating and, and stimulating. I've received dozens of emails from women saying that they had to stop and masturbate every 10 pages <laughs> when they were reading. And I've never gotten a single email from a dude <laughs> saying that. Could you just assume that's happening? <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I mean, I think what it's interesting because I think that for women, uh, the lifting of the shame and the feeling of liberation, like, oh, I'm not sick. There's nothing wrong with me. Right. All my life I've been told that I'm not supposed to feel sexual desire the way men do and it's natural for men but it's shameful for me so to read something that says no no it's natural for you we're homo sapiens men and women mm -hmm. we're actually very similar right uh women find that uh often very liberating and and erotic in an interesting so, way. so so in a way like you're you're giving them permission to uh, to be a sexual person, to be a sexual Given, yeah, being. Yeah, giving them permission to be a human being, yeah, a homo that's, sapiens. That's that's the argument that, of the book, really. Huge. And not not just women, but just all human beings in general. There, there's sort of this puritanical veil that has been placed over our culture where even talking about the, the topic of sex for some reason, like I feel vulnerable just, just – in, in, in our culture, it, it's a thing that's almost taboo, just even you bringing up that word, and you, it's not something they're supposed to talk about in public. Yeah. And it's not to say that we shouldn't have private lives. Um, and there are certainly things that I won't talk about in public, but sex, I, I certainly shouldn't be ashamed or embarrassed to, to talk about right. sex in, right. in a public form, especially yeah. in a way that serves the greater good. Yeah, especially with something that isn't just like a part of life, but it's, I mean, it's necessary for life. And it's, it's funny how this there's this act that we have to have to keep the human race going, but yet we're so, uh, well, a lot of us are very embarrassed or it is taboo to kind of talk about in public. Well, well, don't you also think that, that that's one of the reasons, though, is we've treated it as, as only an act that is to keep the human race going. And, and I think mm, what you're exposing yeah. is the other side of this. Well, we can also have sex for pleasure. Like you it, know. Uh, it doesn't just have to be functional. It, right, right. Oh, man. <laughs> Mariah and I's bedroom game is about to change. <laughs> <All right. laughs>